Hi everybody. I did a video a few days ago on how to connect between two Windows machines uh, using an instance of Windows Remote Desk, um, Remote Desktop. Uh, but I wanted to do one on how you could do the same with a Raspberry Pi. So I've got four or five Raspberry Pis around the house and all of them without exception I use as some form of server so I just want to put that in a small case tuck it away somewhere and leave it running I don't want a keyboard and a monitor uh, sitting around it's too cluttered so remote desktop if I can do that uh, with a Raspberry Pi uh, that saves a lot of hassle and then I can access and control it from anywhere um, so you've obviously got the option of using uh, command prompt and SSH uh, to control it headlessly uh, but why not use remote desktop uh, from another PC and controlling it using its own uh, desktop application. So to do that, you need to install something called XRDP, uh, which is an open source remote desktop protocol server. You can read more about that at uh, XRDP.org. Um, but to just get on and how we're going to install that on our Raspberry Pi. So on the right here, I've just got a few points so you can pause the video at any time and look at the commands that I'm using. I've opened up here on the left Windows command prompt. So the first thing we need to do is SSH into your Raspberry Pi. So to do that, just type in SSH, uh, SSH space, then enter the username, username at the Pi you're going to log into. So for me, it's just Pi and then at the IP address. So I'm going to put this on my Plex server, which is 192.168.1.25. Of course, yours will be different. Uh, press enter, prompted for the password, so enter your password, press enter. Once you're in, the first thing you want to do is do an update and an upgrade to make sure you're running all the latest sources on your install. So the first one is sudo space apt space update, press enter. That shouldn't take too long. It's just going to get a list of sources that need to be uh, updated. So then the next one uh, is to do sudo apt and then upgrade and press enter. This might take slightly longer. Press yes when asked to and enter. So I'll just leave that run and come back to you at the end. OK, so that's all done. So the next thing to do now is install uh, the XRDP uh, software. So to do that, again, it's a sudo command and apt space and then install space and then XRDP and then enter. And then press yes when prompted to. Just let that run. OK, that's all done. That didn't take very long at all. Uh, so the next thing you can do is find out if um, the RDP server is running. So you can see here on the right, with this sudo command, you can check the status. If it's not running, then you can manually start it uh, here with this command line. So that's just go ahead and check the status. So if we just paste that in rather than me type that out and press enter, that's it. You can see that's running. So the next thing we should be able to do is head over to the, on your Windows machine and go into the Windows desktop. So just type desktop can see here remote desktop open that then the first thing you want to do here is enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi that you want to access so my Raspberry Pi was 192.168.1.25 and then press connect and 
just say yes to that. So that's opened up now. You can see at the top here, this has opened up uh, a remote desktop instance. So we're now been presented with username and password information from the Raspberry Pi itself. So again, just enter your credentials and press enter. And there we go. So we are now on the desktop of our Raspberry Pi from our Windows machine. So that means we can leave our Raspberry Pis tucked away with no keyboard and no monitor. Hope you found that helpful. If you do, uh, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.